Hi right, guys, welcome back to Baron Sun Garage. We got new parts. And we got a package here from eBay. And we're going old school today, guys. We got an old spring. It's a new spring, but it's old style. And does anybody know what that is? Or should I say, does anybody know what that's for? It's obvious it's a spring, but what's it for? Well, back in the day, they had these for uh, to safeguard your fuel. So instead of locking gas caps that people got nowadays, uh, they installed, we installed these springs. And I did a lot of these when I was younger. So we're going to show you how you do the old school spring. And we got one here. It doesn't have a lot of gas cap. It's our 65 Barracuda. And we're going to install this in this car. And we don't know how far we're going to get with it. It looks like that's about as far as we're going to go right there. doesn't want to fit so it needs to be shrunk down more <laughs> it just screws in there like that like a like a bolt wood or something. And it doesn't want to go. <laughs> we have to get it in there far enough to where you can still put a uh, fuel uh, fuel pump in it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little difficult, people. <laughs> Trying to put a ten-pound bag and a five-pound bag of shit. I tell you what, that's probably good enough. I'd have to cut it off right there. I really wanted to get the whole thing in it, you know. <clears throat> I measured it before I bought it. And I knew I was going to have some difficulty. I, I knew it. Kind of knew all this. Going into it. Like I said, it's like putting a 10 pound worth of shit in a five pound bag, you know. <laughs> I don't want to fit. <coughs> you can see my dilemma, so. The spring is too big um, diameter wise, so it, that's the problem. It's too big around for the hole, so it's, like I said, it's like putting, you know, 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag. <laughs> it don't want to fit. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, it's just getting worse and worse because uh, it's getting bigger and bigger at this end. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably get a pair of dikes and cut it off and still get the fuel hose or the, uh, you know, the, the pump from the uh, fuel station. It'll still be able to accept the, uh, still be able to put gas in it, you know. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it off and then finish feeding that in there. And call it done. Oh boy. Ants. We got ants. Oh lordy lordy. I knew I felt something crawling on me when I got in there. Whole bunch of ants. Ah, my son's gonna love that. All kinds of ants in this car. Yeah, they're in the car. They're going to have to all die. Little piss ants, too. Oh, I got one on me. Get off me. And the grass over here. I have to go get some ant spray. Kill the little ants. Kill the little suckers. And I will. Looking for my tool here. Cut it with. Do I got a pair of cutters in there? No. Well, apparently no cutters in there. Bonnet, but I know there's a pair of cutters out here. I had some tools out uh, when I was using the, the van for a repair on Groby's car, the truck actually, and I believe I put them in the Bonneville. Give me a pair of snap-on cutters in here. Yep, right here. There they are. Nap on cutters. Yeah, then I just got a pair of bowl cutters too. I'll get that cut. <laughs> One way or another, we'll get the job done, right? That's just gonna stop us here at Beamer and Sun Garage. Because we don't give up. No ants is going to stop us. Even though we got a slew of ants in the car. Boom. Cut it right off. Well, bucks, I think I spent, uh, I got six dollars in it. <laughs> See if we can fish the rest of this in there. <clears throat> Probably not. Cut her back out. Yeah. 
and that should take care of it. Boom. No one's gonna be stealing gas out of that car anymore. And that's how they did them in the old days, guys. <coughs> that's old school. So we'll switch our tools over to this puppy. And there we go. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that educational uh, experience with me. <laughs> and how I like to cheat. You know, I'm going to get the job done no matter what. You know, there's no way I'm going to be stopped from doing what I do here. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm a beamer, true and blue. All the way through. So, we're going to switch our tool bag over from the Bonneville that's broke down. It's got a, I think a fuel filter issue. And I'm going to try to remedy that and repair that. Okay, this tool was not in that. This tool was in that. This tool was not in that. Came from the motor, huh? There we go. We're gonna go get some uh, ant spray. And we're gonna spray this great car, my sons, and kill all the ants. Cause we uh. We got to vacate them out of here. Looks like we got a pretty good handle on it. There's still a few lingering around. Not as many as there was. That's for sure. We killed about 90% of them. They're hiding now. And my son says, ah, I bet that car won't even start. Yeah, it started, son. I pulled it out here. Because it was backed into that high grass there, and that's where the ants came from, was in that yard in the high grass. this little car my son's got I've done a lot of extensive amount of work to it brakes are still working great didn't hurt it those years of sat I need to tune up it's got a little rocky rocky to it but I mean it's a good little car it just needs a little bit of you know dialing in and tuning up it's got a frame box on the bar wall just gotta do some Tweaking on some things. We ain't got much fuel in that builder. Look at that. It may need some help. It may need some help in the fuel department. It's a shaking and it's a rocket. But if she's a shaking and she's a rocket, don't come a knocking. <laughs> That's what they always said. Shut her down. Gotta get some ant killer. Looks like I got pretty much all the ants out of it. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, I pretty much saved myself that dollar of ant spray by just killing them manually. There's still a couple lingering around, but it ain't as bad as it was. That's for sure. 
All right, guys. There you go. Ant Killing 101. <laughs> and installing an old school siphon spring. There you go. Hello. How you doing in there? <laughs> Gotta keep the thieves out. Don't worry about anybody stealing our gas. We got about 10, 9, 10 gallons in this thing. And it's all just for uh, test driving. <coughs> now, I can't siphon the gas out of it. Of course, I can get the gas out another way, but we're not going to educate you on how to do that. All right, guys. That's it. That's it for us here. Check out our friends' actions. Auto Parts, Jamie Phillips. Check out my buddy. Are we still going? Yeah, we're still going. And check out his channel. Like, tag, share, follow him. Like, tag, share, follow us. Uh, Scott Speed Shop. And that's it. We're out. Auto Salvage Outlaws. I'll take it back. Auto Salvage Outlaws. Check out their channel. And we're out, guys. That's it. So hope you enjoyed the educational video. Uh, how to put a non-siphon uh, or turn your car into a non-siphon car with a spring. They actually made those back when I was a young, young man before they came out with these fancy locking caps. That's how you did it. You put a spring in there. They can't get their hose in there. And that takes care of it. All right, guys. Check out our friends. You know, like, tag, share, follow us. And subscribe. We're, you know, we're up to, you know, we need to get to, uh, we want to get to uh, 1,300. We're at 1,204. Trying to get to 1,300. So, appreciate all you subscribers, all you guys watching, all my friends out there. Appreciate every one of you guys. And we'll see you in the next Beamer and Sun Garage, guys. Bye-bye.